Let's stay in the holiday spirit. There's a great event tomorrow raising money for the Children's Cancer Association. It involves pajamas <laughs> and beer, obviously. Colin Rapp is the owner of Migration Brewing. He is here to tell us about the pajama party. We also have Ava Palmquist. She runs the She Knows Beer Instagram account. And Osea Clark Kasperzak from the Children's Cancer Association. Welcome. Hello. Thank we you. got to talk about the cat suit. <laughs> well, you know, I had another onesie I've used for the last two years. My oldest son, Maddox. Hi, Maddox Britton. Uh, loves cats. Neighborhood cats, everything. And so I figured it was a perfect fit for this year's event. It is very festive. Also, you have beer. Let's just talk about that first. Okay. So not only are we having a DJ, a pajama contest, you get to wear cozy pajamas. We're releasing our beer that we did with Westward Whiskey. So it is our Frankie, which is a Belgian chocolate stout, sat in Westward uh, white oak barrels for just about a year. And then what's awesome about it is they do this with a number of other breweries. I know Ex Novo has some of their barrels that they do it with. And then they take the bar barrels back after the beer and then they make stout finished whiskey. Well, let's get some in a glass real quick and have Destiny and Nate, our tasters, come out. And while you're pouring that, Wonderful. I want to talk, uh, ask Osea about the Children's Cancer Association and how you came to be part of this fundraiser. Absolutely. So uh, the, the, one of the reasons that I got inspired to be a part of the CCA, my cousin Joel Katz died when I was a child. And so it always meant a lot to me. And I've known Colin and the team over at Migration since college, actually since before they founded it. So uh, the opportunity to host this great event, uh, you know, I couldn't pass it up and it'll be our third annual. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah, awesome. proud of that. So how's the beer? So good. It is good. Yeah. It has like a, it has like a whiskey-ish flavor to it almost, it feels like. It's great. It yeah. smells good. I feel like I'm overdressed here for the party. I wish I was, <laughs> I wish I had known about the pajamas. Yeah. Probably up. feel a little restricted, not quite yeah. as just comfy and cozy. Yeah. Well, no, did, totally. did, sorry to interrupt you, Nate. Did we talk details though about the pajama party? Cause it's this, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow, seven o'clock. Uh, kids pajama contest, 7.30. Adult pajama contest, 9.30. DJ starting around 7, 7.30, there will be a photo booth, a lot of good times, good people, plenty of beer, and, and I mean, bottles to take home. And Ava, you're going to be there too. Yes, I will be there. This is such a great way to do what people are already planning to do on a Friday night, which is drink <laughs> beer. In Why not pajamas? have, yes, in their pajamas. <laughs> Why not just go out to migration and have a portion of your beer sales go to a really worthy cause? Yes, it sounds like a lot of fun. There's going to be a pajama costume contest, yep. right? Yeah. One for, for kids, kids and adults. Kids. So this is not 21 and over. No, no, kids are always allowed at our facilities okay. until 9 p.m. So we're gonna have the kids contest a little bit earlier and then let adults kind of do their thing and have that contest after some of the kids start then, getting home. Sure, then adult time. Exactly. <laughs> all right, very cool. It's all going to support the Children's Cancer Association.